very distant new vlog. Just gone out of a walk with Harry and I thought, right, let's just start vlogging again. I recently did my panelling vlog, which you hopefully would have seen. And now I'm back doing weekly vlogs and hopefully you've missed them. <laughs> and hopefully you want them back because there's all sorts going on at the moment. Oh, Harry's having a poo, so bear with. <laughs> Sorry about the temporary um, poo gate. Ready? Go! Go! Go on in! Go! Go on! <laughs> Eat my head. So yeah, so there's all sorts of news to report. So I'm sure in this vlog I'm going to go through and just share exactly what I've been up to, what I've got new. I've got a couple of things to unbox for you. There's some bits I've got to unbox for the new guest room, which you should have already been revealed. However, I'm recording this before I reveal it, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to finish this little, little walk. It is gorgeous blue sky if you can see i just said gorgeous blue sky and it's, it's cloudy <laughs> there is blue sky with white cloud i just thought i'd fill you in we had a cylinder leak in our boiler room it leaked through to our dining room i can't remember whether i was vlogging at that point i don't think i was but we've had it completely redone complete new water cylinder had a bigger water cylinder so we should never run out of hot water Mary. And yeah, we had all that done. So Luke is in the process of building shelves for that room so we can store all of our towels and wicker baskets with bits and bobs in. So that's happening as well as the guest room. And yeah, it's all happening really, which is quite nice, but I'm definitely ready for a bit of summer. Definitely ready for none of this jumpers, jumper situation. I'm definitely ready for a little bit of warmer weather. And then, yeah, we're going to make a cup of tea, settle at home and crack on with the rest of the day. And hopefully I'll share with you a couple of bits and pieces. And yeah, and we'll see how the rest of this vlog goes. Because I've gone back to basics and I don't know what's going to be in it. So I apologise in advance. It looks really dark this side, but we're just gonna go with it. Right, I'm back from our lovely walk, and I don't even know if I said it, so welcome back to another vlog. I'm so sorry it has been, which seems like forever, that's pretty much because it has. I kind of got wrapped up in a lot of work, a lot of photography, just life got a little bit manic, so unfortunately it was YouTube that took the back burner. So I am very sorry, I'm gonna keep, <laughs> as I said before, get back on track now. I am gonna still try and do weekly vlogs. They might have to be a little bit shorter than they are now, but I'm gonna try and keep creating content for you and keep kind of giving you what you wanna watch. That sun, Whew. oh, I could be in bub the bub, blah. I could be in the Bahamas. Okay, that's really bright, oh, I can't see. Okay, right, so now we're back. Actually, if I'm gonna be totally honest with you, you can't even see me now. Hold on, is that a bit better? Okay, that's a bit softer. So I'm gonna be totally honest with you. We went for a walk, I came back, I had a cup of tea, I had some chocolate mini eggs, and then I fell asleep. <laughs> So we are still on the same day, it's just we're a couple of hours later because I had a little nap. That's just what happened. Um, so we're currently in the guest room, which was the room... Yeah, this lighting is not good, is it? But I'm going to be up and down like a blimmin' yo-yo at this rate, aren't I? Uh, can you even see me? I don't think you can. What's going on? That's about better. Okay. This lighting is literally yo-yoing because that sunlight is going from bright to, to shady to bright to shady. So if I move a lot in this <laughs> in this at the moment is because I'm trying to make sure the lighting's okay, which I think it's all right. I can't really tell. Anyway, we're just gonna go with it. So this room is the guest room that I've recently decorated. You'd have seen in my, um, the vlog before this vlog, the paneling vlog, another how-to paneling, kind of incorporated with me redesigning this bedroom. It's all in there, so I'll put a little thing up in the top corner for you. So if you are interested in seeing that, go back and re-watch. But, so that vlog hasn't come out yet. No. The vlog has come out but I've got to add some content after I've unboxed these bits for you. If that makes any sense, 
I don't think it does. All I'm trying to say is that this room like this isn't finished. I've got some bits in these boxes to show you. So once I've showed them, then I'm going to finish it. Then I'm going to film some reveal videos. Then I'm going to edit the vlog, put that vlog, vlog out, add this to this vlog and then put that out later. If that makes any sense. If it totally doesn't make sense, then I'm sorry. I'll quit jibber jabbing. So first thing that I wanted to show you is some prints that I ordered from um, a company that I think I've spoken to you Oh, I'm really dark again. I wonder what happens if I bring you closer. I can't even see, can you even see me? I can't even see myself. Oh, what is going on? Right, I think that's okay. Is that okay? Oh, man. So, anyway, I bought some new artwork prints from a company that I've worked with before for this room and also just generally around the house. They are a company called Muse, I think that's how you pronounce it, Muse Homes. The lovely Jo um, started this company up, I think it was last year, and her prints are so unique. Like you see a lot of text prints and a lot of abstract prints, and these, this is pretty much museum quality art in a print. So she sent me obviously a little card, which is really sweet. And the two prints that I have chosen, let me spin you around. This is the first one. See, they are in um, a protective film. But this is the first print, which I thought was absolutely stunning. I love the flowers in the pot. I love the textures. Whoops. I just thought it was an absolutely beautiful print. Also, I don't know whether you can tell. Look how thick these prints are. They're really thick quality. Museum quality, fine art prints museohome.co.uk in case you wanted to go and have a little look but she has some amazing designs so I went with this one which I think I'm going to put in this room and also I used to own horses and I've always had a love of horses so I decided to go for the one of the men and women riding horseback along the beach because I thought this was absolutely adorable every print has a story behind it so if you actually go onto the website it says the artist when they did the print how it came about any stories or anything that is behind the print print or behind the artist so I think that's amazing as well having a little bit of history in your home so very happy with these that they arrived um, I'm actually going to put this one in a frame what I'm going to do is I ordered some frames to go with them I can't remember where I ordered them from so I will oh, I might be in here actually I ordered them from the frame company these were £5.80 a frame which that kind of price you can't really go wrong so oh let me just get them out so there's the frame company and a very quirky <laughs> little card which is cute so these are what I went for I got two exactly the same because I thought it was quite nice having something similar around the house around my home I have a lot of these I don't know whether you can see it above a lot of these frames which are the plain black ones which are the plain black ones from Ikea, the Lumenvicken Lumen ones. So they're the ones that I've got like all over my house. But I thought it'd be quite nice to have something with maybe a bit more texture or just a bit more to it instead of just plain black. I went with, these are called Brook Moonstone Grey. Let me take this out of here. Whoops. So this is the Moonstone Grey. It just gives a little bit of texture. It, it says it's grey, but to me it's more like a beige. It's not really a beige. It's like a torpy, torpy with white bits on it. It's definitely not just grey, if you ask me. But I was going to put this print in this frame because I thought it would look absolutely beautiful in this room. So, hold on, let's just do that now. Okay, so now I've put that in the frame, I think it looks beautiful. I am very happy with this. It's just how, you can see the reflection, but it's just how I wanted it to look. So then my thoughts were, I haven't sorted this out yet, was to lean, oh hold on, hold on. I'm gonna put that just there, like that. You see? So you can just get an idea 
of what it would look like. Just brings a little bit something else into the room, I think. I'm happy with that. Okay, right, so next up. God, I'm moving you loads late at the moment today. I'm happy with the frame. That's all good. Something else that I did want to change in here as well, that I ended up changing these. So these, I had these from when we first moved in. Now let me show you. These are the Dunelm cushions. I think they're quite popular. I think quite a lot of people know where they're from. They're fine, but they don't, they're not really suited for this room anymore. I'm going for a little bit of a different style. So I popped, I did a click and collect at Dunelm and I bought these. These are just Continental Dunelm, five pounds. Can't really go wrong. Everyday essentials. Not, it says non-iron. Don't really understand how it's going to be non-iron. But if it says non-iron, maybe they're non-iron. Let me put one on. And let's see what you think. Ooh, see you out. So if you can see, obviously it will need to be ironed, of course. But I much prefer the white than the cream, only because that kind of melt meshes in with the wall. Oh my God, look how dirty, why does that look so, why does that pillow look so dirty? Maybe because it is dirty, I don't know. But yeah, much happier with the white. Lovely. Okay, all good. Right, I've got one more um, package. Oh, this is comfy. Right, well, I've got one more package to show you for this room. Um, another delivery, which are the cushions that I'm going to put in here. So let me go and grab that, and then I can finish styling this ready for the video that has already gone live. So yeah, makes sense, kind of. Maybe not. Okay, so last one is Zara. So this is the final package for this room, I think. And then I think we're done. Let me get this up. Hey, Harry. Come on in. Come sit up here with me. That's it. Good boy. And here we have packaging. Ooh, okay, we have two. Oh, these are beautiful. Uno, dos. And just move this out the way. Bear with. So, I ordered these two beautiful brown linen cushions. I'll put a little slide up as well of them on the website. They are, so they have a zip. You can see, I don't know if you can see the zip. I think is a lovely touch. I love it when you can see the zip. Um, there are, I think they're 100% linen. I might have that wrong. They feel 100%, but I thought the brown softened this room. Otherwise, there's a lot of white creams, beiges, like this is the steamed milk. You've got the linen lampshades. I just wanted something a bit darker. Ideally, I wanted something patterned, which I will get something patterned. I'm loving the ochre pillows. Um, however, that won't be happening in anytime soon because it's not within my budget. Um, so I need to wait. I might even go to Home Sense when they open, see if they've got any like, patterned cushions. So once this is all plumped up and sorted, I thought the, both linens really complemented each other with dark and then with the white as well. Both of these are from Zara. So yeah, I thought they just brought a bit more depth into the room. And I really like them. If there's, where's my tea? anything you like so the pillows the prints the frames everything like that i will put it all in the description box down below so if you want to go and have a little shop then you're more than welcome but i think i've spent everything on this room i now need to sort it out i need to have a clean i need to have a tidy and i need to take some images of this room have a hoover and then we're done the rest of the day hopefully we'll just chill out we've got a, um, a hello fresh meal tonight so it is the second meal we've got the first meal we had was like a beef ragu penne pasta and it was so nice with like a cheesy garlic bread it was lovely tonight i'm not too sure what we've got we've got a couple of options so i need to work out which hello fresh meal i'm going to go for it's the first time I'm, i've ever used hello fresh so i'm very interested to see what the rest of the meals are like but right let me sort this out and i will be back with you in a bit Okay, so I'm holding you on my tripod, which is a bit silly, really. We are having our Hello Fresh meal this evening. Let me grab it. Let me just pop you there. So tonight, whew, 
Tonight we have gone for the HelloFresh Herby Burgers, which look amazing because they're chilli and Luke loves chilli. So I'm interested to see how these turn out and I have to say, they're looking pretty good. So let's do some, Woo. oh, what's this drop there? Get some foot in. Woo. They look good. Well, you can tell they're homemade burgers. So um, HelloFresh is totally new for us. We've never had HelloFresh. The only reason why we got it is because Sammy, one of my friends, she gave us a free HelloFresh, HelloFresh, HelloFresh vouchery code so we can get like a free week's worth of meals. So of course I said yes, I thought I'd give it a go. We had the beef ragu two nights ago or last night and it was really, really, really nice. And tonight we've got the Herbie burgers, so hopefully, hopefully they're nice. I mean, they smell nice. You okay? You tired? No, camera shy. Too tired. It's okay. I know. We all know how you feel. We all feel the same. It's smelling good. Smells really good. Yeah, they're like really, they're herbies. Woo! Really good. Oh, Okay, I've got the fan on, so you literally cannot hear a word I'm saying. But the burgers are looking good. They are all on. Oh, let me zoom you out. That's better. The burgers are lo looking good. Oh, also, while well, I've got you here, I cleaned the patio. If you'd have kept up with my Instagram, you'd have seen that I completely jet washed the patio. And I only started doing it because I saw Stacey Solomon doing it, so you know. So this is our patio. We've moved, if you remember, that this was over here we've decided to move it over here in the background move the table across obviously still got the bed because in the evening we get the sun um right in that corner but also we get sunlight here like literally in this little corner we get sunlight like early afternoon and that's it so i thought right we'd put it there oh sorry harry there you go so he wanted to join us but also you can see <laughs> hello we jet washed all the patio, it literally, I didn't realise it was two-tone colours. It was horrendous. It was kind of like this. So I haven't jet washed any of that. That is bad. However, over here, ta-da, so much better. So there's bits like this, like these dark bits, which haven't gone, but apparently I can get, um, apparently I can get special stuff, but get off like all the black spots and stuff, so. I don't know, but I really want an olive tree and I really want some other li little bits of lavender so I need to go to the garden centre which could be another trip that I do with you but it's really cold so I'm going indoors. Oh, it's really cold. Harry, come in. Come on. Here's one burger. Hey, did you know the day today? The date today is the, dum, bum, bum, I don't know, 6th. Is it really? Yeah, why? I thought I was nearly done on this list, I'm on the 6th of March, I've got the 6th of April to get to. Jeez! Well, <laughs> what? Harry, none of this is for you, because you're a dog. Lettuce in the book, these burgers are nuts. Ah! Stay. Okay, so these are our burgers, and if you ask me, they are looking pretty damn good. I'm gonna eat my burger, chill out tonight, watch a movie, and I'll check in with you tomorrow. Good morning, um, it's now the next day, so day two of the vlog, um, and I am off to the garden centre. So I haven't been to the garden centre for so long, but we've got some vouchers that we need to spend and some of our, pot, our terracotta pots have broken over the winter and yeah so I'm off to have a little browse so I thought I'd take you with me I've only got my phone so you've only got phone quality vlogging today so because um, I didn't charge the battery for the little compact camera um, but yeah it's a lovely day the sun is shining and yeah I'm looking forward to getting some bits from the garden centre also they have some really nice home stuff as well so yeah i'll do a little montage of um of what's there for you i lose my breath whenever i see you you stole my heart while 
what is it that you do? My life was great till you added colors. Like the moon needs the sun, we don't care about the others. You said my world on fire. I just wanna love you, just wanna hold you Just wanna be with you till we grow old Please tell me you'll stay or take me away I want you for myself every single day Okay, just to fill you guys in I've been to the garden centre, I've got what I needed to get I've just got to pop into Tesco's now So I'm just going to do Tesco's Then I'll show you exactly what I bought from the garden center so first off i picked up two of these terracotta pots so these are like a medium size i did have these ones originally but they cracked i think in the frost which i probably shouldn't have oh no no they didn't they fell over i had them on a ledge like this and it was really windy and they fell over and cracked so bought two more so i need to oh replot replot oh, i can't get my words out replant i also picked up some flowers so i picked up five i'm bending down really weird i've got five bedding plants so i don't really know what these are but if i show you so i've got this one I've got these which are, are beautiful don't know what they're called i got this one that is called waterfall white sparkle picked up this one as well another white flower and then i also got this one which is just like a bit of a shrubbery I've also picked up this bigger, bigger terracotta pot. So this is a larger one because I picked up some English lavender and I'm going to put that in there because we love uh, lavender and it's really good for the bees as well. So some English lavender will go in this big pot and hopefully it will get bigger and bigger. So that's the plan. What else did I get? Oh, well, also I got three of these really little terracotta pots so these are 1.99 each they're a complete bargain but i got the three Ooh, don't fall over i got the three because i thought they'd look really nice on my windowsill or put them there on my, either windowsill to be fair only my windowsill oh and i also bought some compost so i've got three bags of just normal general purpose compost so i'm going to sit here now and i'm going to um, put my gloves on and get all these potted so then they can go over with the rest of my flowers and hopefully they can start having some water and start blooming but disclosure i'm not a gardener i'm not very good don't really know what i'm talking about i'm just kind of winging it so, <laughs> so if you come with gardening tips you're not going to get any because i don't know Let's at home. Try to fix things that weren't broken. Misunderstandings and words unspoken. We fought the I've finished gardening, all the plants are in, everything is done. Oh, Luke is currently um, building shelvings in our boiler room. If I flip you around. So he's in the process of putting up these beautiful shelves. He's going to have one there and one up there so I can then put my Ikea baskets and everything 
in them so then I can completely organize the um, organize the boiler room with all my towels and baskets and just get all that proper organized which would be exciting but let me just sort myself out a bit so bear with okay so god i feel like i've done so much gardening's done um that is all sorted i really need to get my hair cut look how long my hair is so hopefully the hair's getting cut in a couple of weeks so i've booked an appointment that's good eyebrows are getting done in the next week and also my eyelashes are being done next week so i feel like i'm going to get back to normality however i feel like i'm a ghost i need a tan so i think i'm going to sort my bedroom out because it looks like a changing room of top shop so once i sort that out i think i might have a shower fake tan and then it'll be the evening and then just chill out so i'm gonna leave the vlog here so first vlog back i don't know what's in it what's in it a couple of unboxing garden trip garden i don't know a bit of everything but um hope you liked it and yeah please like please subscribe and we'll return next week but i don't know what it's gonna be because we still can't do anything but you know We'll find out. But I could be browner, I could have nice eyebrows, and I could have nice lashes. We don't know, we'll wait and see. But yeah, hopefully you have a lovely day, evening, morning, weekend, whatever you're up to, and I will see you next time in the next vlog. same way